Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Patty. I'm the Chief Medical Informatics Officer for Medix Technology. I'm excited to introduce to you a new series that I'm going to be rolling out over the next couple of weeks called Building Your Physician EHR Satisfaction Program. You know, it's no secret that burnout levels are at an all-time high. They were high pre-pandemic and the pandemics only made physician and staff burnout even worse. And so now it is more critical than ever to really adjust your strategies to markedly improve uh, burnout at your organization and to help reduce that. While the EHR isn't the only factor in physician burnout, it certainly is a major player. And so what I'd like to share with you is, you know, based on my experience of 20 years in medical informatics, you know, starting at Fairview Health Systems in the Twin Cities and then at Health East Care System, also in the Twin Cities, and then most recently uh, at Rush University in Chicago, I've developed a program for building an effective physician satisfaction program uh, at your organization. And I'd like to share some of my insights with you and hopefully it'll help you build a program at your organization. You know, I like to think of building a physician satisfaction program kind of like building a house. You have to start with a strong foundation and that foundation is your EHR and the associated technologies. Uh, so if you don't sa start with a very sound build of your EHR and continue to evolve that build with your organization and with your end users and with the vendor, you're not going to have high levels of satisfaction. But that's only the start. The structure of the house, if you will, is really based on three pillars. One is training. The second is governance and workflow. And the third is personalization. If you're not doing uh, an excellent job at both ongoing and on uh, both onboarding and ongoing training, if you don't have a solid governance that engages the, the key workflows at your organization, and if you haven't personalized, given physicians an opportunity to personalize the EHR to their specific personal and specialty workflows, you're not going to have very satisfied end users. And so making sure that you have those three pillars solid at your organization is going to be critical. And finally, the roof, if you will, of the house is communication. You have to communicate the changes that are going on and how physicians can engage with your organization to change with you and also to make sure that they feel like they're being heard you're not going to have a successful program so over the next several weeks i'm going to be digging deeper into each of these str strategic areas uh, and giving you what i hope are good tips to help you develop a program at your organization to improve ehr's overall ehr satisfaction now, your emr should be a constant work in progress and if you if you're not building if you don't have a strong a good system in place to constantly evolve so that your organization uh, can improve its efficiency reduce overall costs and maintain strong relationships between your care team and your patients which is ultimately what healthcare is all about right uh, you're not going to be successful and i want to help you be successful so i hope you'll join with me and what I think will be an engaging series uh, over the next several weeks uh, as we work together to build an environment for providers, staff, and ultimately patients uh, at your organization. Thank you.